Hey guys, this is Ash and you're watching Bright Gash. So today I'm doing my Light Fall 2022 TBR. Um, Light Fall is gonna span for a week in December, which is much shorter than the previous Aurelium readathon, but it's kind of like a holiday version and it is very low stakes. Um, the goal is to visit the old Fever Pass and just kind of read a few books, keep the magic going from Aurelium. And I'm really excited for a low-key month of reading. Again, I have been needing low-key months. But as always, G has created another amazing as like part to Aurelium, so I am really happy. Uh, I am going to be setting up a TBR for it, but it's going to be very low stakes and I've, I've only decided on one book that I have in mind and it's more like I want to talk about what the kind of books I want to read in this video more than anything else um but the point is there are about six different locations and each location has a prompt of books you can read so um that's kind of like it for this read upon I have decided for my personal reading, I'm going to stick to contemporaries for this short read upon and that I get to do at, I get to do that at Smith and Friends and Sons Arcane Goods and Such, a general store for magic, uh, magical goods. And the first prompt there is to read a contemporary book. You can do some extra activity there and all of the books in the, this like store have to be contemporary and for the duration of this readathon i'm gonna stick to um contemporary so i'm try gonna try checking off these the first obviously is to read a contemporary book i'm hoping to read the american roommate experience by elena armas for this one it's been on my tbr for a while and i'm excited to read it i did love the spanish love deception so it'll be a good book to pick up finally after months of it being out um the next thing i want to potentially do is to uh complete the second like extra activity prompt and that is to buy a miniature portal kit um and that is to read a book set at a set uh during a holiday um there are so many amazing like christmas books out there um i was thinking maybe the bromance christmas book that came out um the bromance club series christmas book i might read that one for this and then the final prom there i'm not sure if i want to read this quite yet it is to buy an enchanted self-writing quill in quick dry ink and that is to read a book published this year i haven't decided if i'm gonna do this yet but if i decide to do this i might read not the plan uh by gia they can Cadenet. The caveat here is the book comes out in 2023, but I got this book in 2022 from NetGalley as an ARC. So I think I can count it still because it is a book published this year to me. Like the ARC came out this year. It's a stretch, but G allows a little stretch. And it's something I have been wanting to read. It's contemporary, so I'm gonna use it for that prompt if I decide to do it because I don't know if I have the mental capacity to read three books a week in December. Um, some of the other locations during this like little um, mini readathon are um, the old Tales bookstore and there you read mysteries and thrillers as much as I love them. I don't have any t on my TBR right now so I'm not gonna try. The next is Shank sorry, Shawl and Shank's Legitimate Retailer. Um, and they have cur Curiosity Trinkets and Devices, sorry. Um, and this is where you read horror books, which is a no-go for me. I'm not ever gonna visit that store. I do not do horror ever. The next is Wallace's Wonderful Winter Animals. It's such a cute title. It's a pet shop and petting zoo. And the prompt here is to read fantasy books and I love fantasy but I've just been feeling very low stakes when it comes to books lately so I might just stick to contemporaries if I end up doing this 
I might read um, Our Foul Lady or something. Uh, the new Chloe Gong book. Um, and then we talked about the contemporary, the ones I'm reading. The next store is The Occult Premonition, General Store for Magical Goods. And there you read science fiction. I used to read a lot of these back in like 2012. I haven't been in the mood for science fiction in a long, long time. And then finally, it's not a reading prompt, but the Rich Pigeon Pub drinks live music, theater. It's just like, you know, enjoy everyone's company. It's like a channel on the Discord and I love the Discord for this readathon. So I will be sharing all the relevant links in the description box for you guys to check out. Probably, this video probably won't come out till like the end of the readathon, but because I've been really slow at like filming and editing, but I just wanted to get it out there and do this in case I do end up reading a little bit in December. But December is such a busy month. Everything is wrapping up. I am working on like PhD applications and things. Most of them are done, but there's still like the fallout, the emotional burnout from it all. And then I have exams and papers and I have to grade papers. So it's gonna be a fun month. But with that being said, I am so happy with how this year has gone. In every aspect, my reading especially has been a solace for me. And yeah, I am looking forward to wrapping up 2022, which has been honestly one of the best years of my life. But that's it for today. Before I get too sappy, and I'll see you all later. Bye!